tell um, the makers of Heavy Rain made this game. They seem to like rain. <laughs> That chick is cool, man. I want to play this as that crazy. chick. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. I don't even see them, so yeah, I don't know. Watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Marcus, you're lagging behind. Marcus, climb up here. Ah. Oh, they're all on that thing. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Uh, no, I don't know what to do, dude. <laughs> Why must I go? Too high, okay, doesn't work. Go back. Go back more. Okay, there we go. It's still too high. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Too high. I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Take something, dude. Take something. Come on. This dude just running around here doing nothing. Oh, 
Oops. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. Don't but John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? No, what are you him. doing? I told you to Don't kill him! Oh no, why did I do that? I have to do that, I don't know. I don't feel good about doing that though. <laughs> Ish. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Ish. And why did I kill that god? I didn't want to do that. Now he's a killer. I made Marcus a killer. Why? <laughs> There's probably a bot in that one. It's so big. Triplets. Oh, good. They like him now again. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Take him, please. <laughs> He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. Oh crap, North doesn't like him now again. I know where you can find more. Jericho. The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? On the dead guy, probably. Down there. Oh, the control station. Okay, not. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus, oh, these I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. These damn questions. <laughs> Androids found. I mean, these decisions are hectic, yo. Like one wrong step and you get yourself killed. Find the key. Okay, the, uh, these dogs. I think the door would be too obvious. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that.
don't want to kill them though, I just want to scare them, I guess. <laughs> Obviously they're gonna call it in now. Ay ay ay. Marcus, what are you doing? Clearly not a good criminal. They don't like me anymore. <laughs> you were committing a class 3 event. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. Oh no, the guard! Help him, help him. It's too late. You if we go back, we'll be killed too. This infraction is being reported Save him, to the please. Stay where you are. He helped. Oh no, did I just get Marcus killed? Ah, I'm such an idiot. Okay, not. How do you feel? What happened? North went back to save you. We managed to get away before the humans arrived. They don't like him now, do okay, they? where's John? He didn't make it. We Oops. had to leave our bags. Oh crap. We didn't bring back much. We had a big mistake. There won't be enough to save everyone. Oof. That sucks. <laughs> Traces, eh? Hey? The dog. Miss that one up. Group failed. Ah, oh, man. It seems like if I'd left John, we wouldn't have failed. Oh well, they don't like him now. I done missed that one up. Oh, looks like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. I like this bot, but I feel like he's gonna let Hank down if he decides to join the Deviants. Maybe he'll be the one to catch them. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> Funny. Oh boy. Got this guy. <laughs> it walks on me stuff. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck <laughs> are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. You're not gonna take much, are you? I mean, I had nothing to do with this. Yeah, so they'll just stay in here until you pick one, I guess. Investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? <sighs> that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. <laughs> oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I need. <laughs> 
Help, I'm stuck. <laughs> Just, can I not go past these people? Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. So disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. Wasn't there another clue? Hm, guess he's done with her. Go back. Where was that point? Hey. Okay, got strangled. Yeah. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah. I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The driver's license says... Michael Graham. Credit card, cash in the wallet. Picture of his wife. Reactivation. Oh, she's dead. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. 
It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. How am I supposed to find it? Did you know the victim? Well, he's drawn to number no, I mean, nine, so let's stop the... Three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Yeah, number nine could have seen everything from where she was. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things <laughs> to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. <laughs> Rent this crazy. Hello. Hello. A 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. This is not going to look good. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Holy oh, shit, God. What the hell are you doing? Oh, nice. Yeah, boy! Got some video camera footage going on. Blue hair, Tracy. Okay, okay. Check next Android. Number eighteen, probably. Blue hair, Tracy. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to oh, find another witness. Oh lord, where am I gonna find a blue-haired Tracy now? So who do I need? Uh, this guy. I'm going for this one. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Let's try this one. This better be important. Okay, she saw nothing. What a waste of time. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. <laughs> There she goes. Blue hair Tracy went back into the club. So we would have seen her now with, let's see, the other stripper duty. Then go for it! There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction. Into the red room. Okay. <laughs> I 
Look at this guy, so nothing. Let's try 25. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Mm, where's 25? I think he would have seen. There she goes. Went into the blue room. Okay, okay, blue room. In a room, okay, okay, cool. Each room, this room, I That idiot didn't see anything. You didn't mm. see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Left the room. Who would have seen? Uh, uh -huh. I already asked twenty. How did he not see anything? Ah, ah this one. its track again. I don't know who else to ask. There's like uh, hardly anything Blue here. Tracy didn't come this way. Sure, but oh, you, yes. Saw her. Fled through the staff door. Thank you, guy. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. <laughs> That one doesn't seem to have blue either. Ugh, there's a load of them in here. Shit! We're too late! So they break and then they get tossed out.
Oh, there's that symbol again. I don't feel pain, I forgot. Dating or something. Quick, they're getting away. <laughs> Come on, I like Connor, man. Don't die, please. I don't want Connor to die. Why are you making bad choices? I'm gonna definitely have to run through this game again. Why? Why did you kill her? I'm asking myself the same thing. She had nothing to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you... You've taken her away from me. Oops. My God. Oh, I'm just making bad choices through this game. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Ruthless. Yeah. Deviants died. Yeah. There they would have. Oh, here was two paths. Interesting. I just I didn't want Connor to die. That's the thing.
never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Hmm. I want a car like that. This doesn't look good. That is super cool. <laughs> I like that call. Stay inside, Alice. <laughs> what are we going to do? I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Three options because there's three locked things. Find shelter, okay, but way if I can't go that way or that way, where the hell am I supposed to go? Cute, Alice is so sweet. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Anything? No, no place we could spend the night. Is the silhouette? It's creepy looking. It's the real person. It's an android. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. 
Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. This place is low key terrifying. I don't like it. Tavern would be a good spot for the tents there. Where am I? It says you are here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'll just look around. It's fine. something because I got babes yes I do Yeah, the tavern. This is the tavern. Damn, but guy's strong. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Where's his bag? I need to check his bag, but where's the bag? Dang it. <laughs> mm, 
that's creepy. <laughs> I swear, if I see an android run past, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Whew, because there's been jump scares in this game. in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but but they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? <laughs> but all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. 
Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No, what are you talking about? Creepy androids. God, these things. What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. And why are you We're just here? like you? Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Oh, they all alike. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. <laughs> I don't think you have any choice. I think there's like a hundred Jerry's. <laughs> the little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. That's sweet. Neither as Jerry, I assume. Oh, now that was a cute story. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like either way it would have gone that way.
I don't know, but I like corner. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? <laughs> or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Uh -oh. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? <laughs> you seem <laughs> preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? <laughs> 